Hello, I'm Atuba Judge and I'm so, so excited. I told you yesterday how blessed I am. Praise God. I feel so blessed. I'm telling you the truth. I feel so blessed. I feel so honored by God to be bringing God's truth to you. I don't take this for granted in any way. I feel so honored. Praise God. I feel like, 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 like a servant of God. I, I feel... I just feel too special that he will consider me to bring forth his truth to you. Yeah. Because I know how important you are to him. And, and when you're sending, when you're sending someone to someone you consider important, you choose them well. So that's why I say I feel so special right now. Praise God. Oh, glory. Are you ready to call forth your daily bread? Say this with me. Father. Thank you for the daily bread that you have released for me. I receive it right now. All of it, Lord. <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. And Lord, we honor you even this morning. We are bringing forth your truth and it is making men free. Hallelujah. I declare right now, burdens are lifted, yokes are destroyed from everyone watching, everyone listening right now. Thank you, sweet, sweet Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Whoa! You know, we are still talking about Jesus. Who is Jesus? Matthew chapter 16. You know, I told you yesterday, Jesus began to introduce them to the ministry, his ministry as the Christ. Now, I shared this with you some two weeks ago, and I'm going to reiterate on it, then explain what, what the Spirit of God has put in my heart to share with you today. Understand this. Jesus existed in the Father from the beginning. You see, John tells us in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was was God, meaning the Word and God, they were one. Are you listening to me? Then, in verse 14, John chapter 1, he said, And the Word was made flesh, and he dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory as the only begotten Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. Notes. He said the word was made flesh. And I told you before that the reason the word was made flesh, the word existed before it was made flesh. It existed in the Father. Now, why was the word made flesh? Because of sin. Note this. Jesus existed in the Father. And he had a ministry to fulfill where man was concerned. Even before man sinned. Now, God didn't expect Adam and Eve to disobey him. He didn't. Now, I know some people go, uh, he knew that they were going to disobey him. So, he, he, he made ready a, a lamb for the sacrifice. Now, you know, I showed you, I don't know if I showed you that scripture. Now, that, that, that scripture is, 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 was misquoted. He said, the lamb of God that was slain from the foundation of the world. It's, it was misquoted, just some English error there. What he was saying is the book of life 
was written from the foundation of the world, not the Lamb of God. Meaning, he, is, he was saying the book of life of the Lamb that was slain. Now, it is the book of life that was written from the foundation of the world, not the Lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. Now, something as simple as that can lead to error. Because if you believe that he's saying the lamb was slain from the foundation, I think we should go there, Revelation chapter 13. So you see, you see it yourself. Revelation chapter 13. I'm going to start from verse 7. Um, we're looking at verse 8, but I'm going to start from verse 7. So I will explain this to you. Now he says, let me read it from the old King James. It says, And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindred and tongue and nation. Now it's talking about this, this, this beast. And verse 8, And all that dwell upon earth shall worship him. Worship who? The beast. Watch this whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Now, this is where that whole phrase came from. And funny enough, this is the only place from Genesis to the last book of Revelation that this was used, this, this term, you know, slain from the foundation of the world was used. You see, now... Be if you read this wrong, you will form a theology. And your theology will be, oh wow, God actually slew the lamb from the foundation. Of I used to think like that. I, I used to preach like that. <laughs> Praise God. Now that's why, see, so when the Lord corrects you and brings you understanding, and uh, this understanding is not by reading books. This understanding comes by fellowship. Fellowship. You are fellowshiping. He's teaching you things. And then when he's teaching you truth, every lie, now when I mean lie now, every, everything that is not perfect begins to be exposed. See, when light comes, it shines on that dark area. And you now begin to see the rubbish that is there. You see? So the Lord was just teaching me this thing. And it now questioned this. Because I've had this in my spirit, and you know, I've had this in my mind, you know, yeah, in my mind. The lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. So, so God actually prepared a lamb from the foundation of the world. So when Adam and Eve sinned, you know, you're like, calm down, calm down, calm down. I, I knew, I, 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 well, yeah, I made them, but I expected this thing maybe. So I, I made ready anyway, if they, if they continue, fine. If they make a mistake, yeah. No. No. Ah, we break a shakata. Listen, if you don't understand this, you will not understand the heart of it. Now, listen, this is why people live their lives anyhow. And they feel, after all, God knows now. He knows that I will do the wrong thing. He knows, he knows everything about me. He knew that Adam and Eve, they were going to say, No! Holy Spirit, give us understanding. Listen. God did not slay any lamb from the foundation of the world. But he wrote a book from the foundation of the world. Now, if you just read this, I never knew this until the Lord said, as I began to do my research. And then I began to see that Oh, some people that have a different translation of the Bible will not have the same problem that I had. I mean, apart from the fact that, you know, sometimes you listen to people and, and you, their words stay in you. Even when you read the Bible, you read their words in. You understand what I'm saying? So, but, but if you are like me, who, who do a lot of study and form opinion based on my own studies, understand? And when I mean study, I mean research. I mean searching the mind of God, reading everything. So I bring all together and then I take an opinion. This is the truth. The Holy Spirit guiding me. So 
and, and we keep fellowshiping with him. There are things that will not matter today that you hold dear to. The Holy Spirit will not even correct you where they are concerned because, you see, he takes us precept upon precept, line upon line. So you, you may be holding on to something today. He won't talk to you about it. Why? Because if he talks to you about it today, it will, he will just confuse you. So he leaves you. You'll be rejoicing in that truth, and then he begins to take you step by step, step by step, step by step. And one day, you will climb up a ladder, and now look at that truth that you were holding there to, and you will automatically see that something is wrong. And that's when you go to him and say, Lord, if this thing you're saying is true, that means this. Then he said, you know, I say, yeah, I was just looking at you all these years. <laughs> like, really? Why didn't you tell me? There is no way you were going to understand it then. Even Jesus said to his disciples, there are lots of things I want to talk to you about, but you cannot handle them now. He didn't say they cannot handle them. He says now. You can't handle them now. Why? There are lots of information you would need before you can handle them. Now that's why your life should be an ever-increasing life of knowledge. And knowledge from where, not just by reading books. Let's think, go beyond, when we're talking about the kingdom of God, go beyond reading books to fellowshipping with the kingdom man himself. Thank you, Lord. So, now I said I was going to read something to you. So let's look at HCSB. Now, now, these translations took it right from the original um, translation. And then they began to modify it. Not changing it. We were putting it in the right, um, in, 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 in the way it was really meant to be. So look at H.C., that's Whole Man Christian Study Bible. It says, all those who live on the earth who will worship him, everyone whose name was not written from the foundation of the world, in the book of the of life of the lamb that was slaughtered did you see that now so he's telling that there's a lamb that was slaughtered but then the foundation of the world was referring to the book of life not the lamb slaughtered now you just move these things and then the whole the whole interpretation changes <clears throat> look at it all who dwell all those who live on earth will worship him, worship the beast, not, not, not Jesus, no. worship the beast. And they will worship him, who are these ones? When he says all, he doesn't say everybody, no. It's specifically everyone whose name was not written from the foundation of the world in the book of life that was slaughtered. Meaning, the book of life was written from the foundation of the world. See? Yeah, it was written from the foundation of the world. That's another day's talk. But here, I needed to clear this from your mind that the lamb was not slain from the foundation of the world. The foundation of the world means before man was created. That's what it means. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, so now we see this. And then, why is it letting us know this now? Because you need to understand that what Jesus did for us was a sacrifice that he took upon himself for our sake. So the, he had a ministry in the Father before man was created. And what was that ministry? That ministry was to give life to man. Now, when it was time to fulfill that ministry, there was a challenge, there was a problem. And what's that problem? Sin was in the picture. So what do we do? Our time is up today, praise God. But you know what? I'm going to start up from here tomorrow because we, we can't even enter this right now. And trust the Spirit of God to help us and, and bring you this understanding. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, step out today confident that God loves you. So much so that He's bringing His life and truth to you.
God bless you. Bye.